particularly coming from a four wheel drive background, people, me included, obsess about tires because the size, the tread pattern, all these, the pressure that you run all have massive effects on the performance of the vehicle off-road. When everything's, when you're driving on bitumen the whole time, you can get one tire and you run at this pressure and you just do this, works great. But off-road, when you're dealing with mud and sand and dirt and beach sand versus desert sand, all these things require different or work better with a, a different setting. Of course, you're not changing your tires for every everything you do, so you've got to standardize on one. And looks are part of that too. But for us, it's also a consideration, well, for every car, it's a consideration around fuel efficiency. Tires are the thing connecting you with the ground, they're creating the rolling resistance. And so width of a tire has more surface area touching the ground, so more rolling resistance. You, a bigger tire has more rolling resistance. A tread, a chunky tread pattern like this is less efficient than, and, than a smoother tread pattern. So we've had to make choices and compromises like everyone does when choosing a tire. We've gone for these, uh, these are general grabbers. Uh, these are a mud terrain tire. Um, mud terrain tires have come a long way. They're a lot better on road than they ever used to be. The, the rubber is better, it works great in the wet now, all of these nice things. But on one hand, you could see this as a dumb choice. Why uh, you're creating an, an EV and part of that is, or a major part of that is energy efficiency or a using a different kind of energy. You want to optimize the car for aerodynamics and rolling resistance. Unfortunately, or fortunately, by starting with an old Land Rover and upcycling an old car, we've, we're already working with a car the shape of a garden shed or a brick. We can never be that efficient with this car, no matter what we do. It's heavy, it's old, it's unaerodynamic. So we need to maximize the utility. That's the point. If you want efficient long distance on-road transport, there's better options than our vehicles. What we want to create is a vehicle that can go anywhere. And in Australia, that requires going on dirt roads and muddy roads and on beaches and on, on sand dunes and all these kinds of areas. So choosing a tire that did that job well was important. The size is also a, a key thing. These cars in the 60s, 70s came with very, very thin tires. And that's what was available at the time. There is a ongoing you know, conversation argument between thick or thin tires, and they have different benefits. For us, we've standardized on a, you know, tire sizes get very particular, but, and are measured in strange ways. So 235, these are 23585 R16s. The R16 refers to the size of the wheel itself. So the inner metal wheel, so that's 16 inches wide. 235 is this profile here. So this is 235 millimetres wide. And then 85 is a percentage of that width. So 85 is 85% 85 of 235 is the, the height of the sidewall. What that means is you get about a 31 inch diameter tyre and that is the standard size tyre on a modern or a modern or the, the last generation of these cars in 2015. It's also the standard size tyre on a Toyota Land Cruiser. So it's a very, very common tyre. Every Land Cruiser in a mining site in Australia is running these. They exist everywhere, not necessarily this exact spec of tyre, but this size. If you ever needed a spare, you could work with this. And importantly, they fit really, really well on an old Land Rover. They're a little bit bigger than they would have been standard. They, they're a little bit wider, but they, they feel, I don't want to say more modern, but they look more like what the car you see in your imagination is versus the sort of smaller, skinnier tyres that were originally on them. Um, modern tyres too have, you know, much better compounds. They, these, although these are designed for, for mud, they work great on the road, in the wet, all these kinds of things.